Hello little ones! Welcome back to Grandma's Storytime channel. Tonight we are going to read together Walt Disney's Mickey and the Beanstalk from Disney's Wonderful World of Reading collection. This is a spin on the classic tale of Jack and the Beanstalk with Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck and Goofy. A long time ago there were three friends called Mickey, Donald and Goofy. They were very poor. All they had was an old cow and a jar of beans. One day there was just one bean left in the jar. We are down to our last bean, said Mickey. I hate beans, said Donald. Beans are better than nothing, said Mickey. What do we eat now? said Goofy. I'm hungry. Mickey looked out the window. He saw the old cow. I know, said Mickey. We can sell the cow. So Mickey went off with the cow. He was going to sell her and buy some food. Remember, said Donald, no beans. On his way to town, Mickey met an old woman. I'll trade you these three beans for that cow, said the old woman. Beans for a cow, cried Mickey. Never! These are not just any beans, said the old woman. They are magic beans. Now Mickey would never have traded a cow for just any beans. But magic beans were different. So Mickey took them and gave her the cow. When Mickey got back, Donald and Goofy were all ready to eat and eat and eat. Mickey showed them the three beans. Beans, cried Donald. But they are magic beans, said Mickey. I told you I hate beans, said Donald. And he threw the beans out the window. So Mickey, Donald and Goofy had to go to bed without any supper. But the beans really were magic. That night the moon found the first bean and it began to grow. And it grew and it grew and it grew right up into the sky. When Mickey woke up he remembered the magic beans. He ran to the window. He saw a great beanstalk growing right up into the sky. Mickey decided to climb the beanstalk. He climbed and he climbed and he climbed. When he reached the top, he saw a great big castle. Mickey went into the castle. He saw a great big table. A giant must live here, said Mickey. On the table there was a great big cheese. Mickey climbed up to take a bite. Suddenly he heard a terrible sound. Thump, thump, thump. The giant must be coming home. Mickey hid in the cheese. And just in time too. The giant had come home and he was feeling very hungry. The giant began to sniff, then he said in a low, mean voice, fee fi fo fummy I smell a boy and boys are yummy. I'll roast that boy and fill my tummy. The giant looked all around. He looked in his sandwich. He looked in his mug. He was just about to look in his cheese. Then he saw his bags of gold. Oh, my gold, said the giant. He liked his gold even more than he liked to eat. So he decided to count it. But soon the giant's head began to nod. And soon the giant's eyes began to close. And soon the giant began to snore. Mickey jumped out of the cheese and grabbed a bag of gold. He ran to the beanstalk and dropped the bag of gold. 
Then he climbed down the beanstalk as fast as he could. When Mickey reached the ground, there were Donald and Goofy catching the gold pieces. You won't believe this, Mickey, said Goofy. It's raining gold, said Donald. No, it isn't, said Mickey. I found the gold at the top of this. But when he looked back, the beanstalk was gone. That night, the moon found the second bean, and it began to grow too. When Mickey woke up, there was another beanstalk, so he climbed it. Mickey went inside the castle. He hid in the oven, and just in time, too. Thump, thump, thump. The giant was coming home. The giant was feeling very grumpy about losing his bag of gold. He began to sniff and say, fee fi fo fummy I smell a boy, and boys are yummy. I'll roast that boy and fill my tummy. The giant looked all around. He looked in his stewing pot. He looked in his teapot. He was just about to look in his oven. Then he saw his hen. My hen! cried the giant. The giant liked his hen because it was a magic hen. When the giant said lay, the hen laid a golden egg. Every time the giant said lay, the hen laid still another golden egg. But soon the giant's head began to nod, and soon the giant's eyes began to close, and soon the giant began to snore. Mickey jumped out of the oven and grabbed the hen. When Mickey reached the ground, he found Donald and Goofy looking at the hen. You won't believe this, Mickey, said Goofy. A, fe a hen fell out of the sky, said Donald. No, it didn't, said Mickey. I found the hen at the top of this. But when he looked back, the beanstalk was gone. That night, the moon found the third bean. In the morning, Mickey looked out the window, and there was still another bean stuck. The magic had worked once more. So Mickey climbed to the top. He went inside the castle. This time he hid in the fireplace. And just in time, too, thump, 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 the giant was coming home. The giant was feeling very grumpy about losing his hand that laid the golden eggs. He sniffed and said, fee fi fo fummy I smell a boy, and boys are yummy. I'll roast that boy and fill my tummy. The giant looked all around. He looked in his wooden box. He looked in his matchbox. He was just about to look in his fireplace when he saw his harp. My harp, cried the giant. Then the giant said, sing. And the harp began to sing a magic song. She sang and she sang and she sang. Soon the giant's head began to nod. And soon the giant's eyes began to close. But the giant did not snore. Mickey jumped out of the fireplace. He grabbed the harp and ran away. He ran very fast, but not fast enough. The harp called out, Master, Master, open your eyes! The giant opened his eyes and saw Mickey running away with his harp. The giant ran after Mickey. But Mickey got to the beanstalk first. He ran down as fast as he could go. But the giant was right 
above him and he was getting closer and closer. Mickey reached the ground first. He grabbed an axe. He chopped into the beanstalk. Whack! Down it came. Thud! That was the end of the giant. From that day on, the three friends were very happy. Mickey traded the gold for good things to eat. Donald watched the hen lay the golden eggs. Goofy listened to the harp plate's magic song. And they never ate beans again. The end. Good night and sweet dreams.